Welcome to the Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Uh, it is... As you can tell by this crowd, it is Friday. And... You don't get that reaction. That's a Friday reaction right there. Of course, uh, if you've been in New York City, you know uh, that the U.N. has been in town all week. Diplomats from every nation on this planet have gathered in New York to spread their message of, we can park anywhere we want. <laughs> Hopeful. Can. Kill a can. And dip, dip, dip. The highlight was Trump's big speech where he threatened to totally destroy North Korea. That did not go over big with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, who fired back yesterday. I will surely and definitely tame the mentally deranged U.S. dotard with fire. Earlier this week, their foreign minister, Ri Yong-ho, called Trump's speech nothing more than the sound of a dog barking. <laughs> Pretty sick burn on our president, to which I have to say, knock it off. <laughs> North Korea. No co. <laughs> you are not allowed to insult our leader like that. Sure, I've had my problems with President Trump, such as everything he has said undone. <laughs> but I'm not going to stand here as an American and let somebody from another country talk smack about our president. We can do it, okay? Membership has its privileges. <laughs> All right? Tell it's it. in the Constitution. Tell it. If I want to say that our president is a lump of uncooked pumpkin bread dough with a rusty Brillo pad balanced on type, that's my right. I'm angry. I'm angry. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm angry. But it is way out of line that this guy also said, if Trump was thinking he could scare us, that's really a dog's dream. First of all, what's with you and the dogs? Is North Korea too poor to afford another metaphor? <laughs> well, apparently, in Korean, a dog dream is one that is absurd and makes little sense. Oh, really? Well, in America, something that's absurd and makes very little sense is called every day since November 8th. <laughs> and again, again, I... I am allowed to say that. You're not. As an American, I have the constitutional right to say that Donald Trump looks like a rotting haystack made of meat. But you cannot. <laughs> and the worst part is, the foreign minister made these remarks outside of his hotel in New York. You come to my house <laughs> and insult my president, who, granted, I think isn't fit to sit in a white castle, let alone a white house. <laughs> but... You don't see me going around saying your leader, Kim Jong-un, looks like if the kid from Up ate the old man from Up. <laughs> so back off, North Korea. Does the Late Show have nukes? Do we have nukes? We need to get some nukes. Okay. <laughs> and North Korea wasn't the only jittery nuclear power that Trump poked with the stick. He also lashed out at Iran. You see, Obama signed a deal which reduced sanctions in exchange for Iran curbing its nuclear program back in 2015, which uh, feels like 80 years ago. And here's what Trump said about the deal at the UN. Frankly, that deal is an embarrassment to the United States, and I don't think you've heard the last of it. Believe me. You know what I don't trust? People who end their sentences with, believe me. <laughs> You're gonna love this car. Great gas mileage, and it's never had a corpse in the trunk. Believe me. <laughs> the thing is, you'll never find any blood. Lemon juice and soda water. Yeah. Lemon juice yeah. and soda water. You know. The thing is, if Trump wants to pull out of the deal, he has to prove that Iran is not complying with it. One problem, the latest inspections found no evidence that the country is breaching the agreement. That's right, sir. You actually need a reason to back out of this agreement. You can't do it just because you met a hotter, younger treaty. <laughs> but... Oh, oh. But... There are signs that we're gonna pull out. For instance, here's Vice President and Man Mayonnaise Hybrid, Mike Pence, 
who said on CBS this morning, on CBS yesterday morning, this. President Trump made his view of the Iran deal very clear before the United Nations General Assembly this week. He considers it nothing short of an embarrassment, the worst one-sided deal, perhaps, in American history. Perhaps, as long as you don't count Native American history. <laughs> then, oh. with the deal up in the air, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said this to the General Assembly. It will be a great pity if this agreement were to be destroyed by rogue newcomers to the world of politics. Rogue newcomers? Again, foreigners, we can do it. You can't. If I want to call Trump Jabba the Hutt's out of shape stunt double, that's why I pay taxes. Don't make me tell you again.